Hello everyone, it's Judy here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up sleep apnea measurement on your Galaxy Watch. Sleep apnea is one of the new features introduced to the Galaxy Watch Ultra and Galaxy Watch 7. And this is also available to the Galaxy Watch 6 and 5. So guys, to get sleep apnea on your Galaxy Watch, just like ECG and blood pressure features, you need the Samsung Health Monitor app, which is not available in every country of the world. However, thanks to a developer on XDA Developers that goes by the name Dante 63, he has been able to modify the Samsung Health Monitor app, removing these region restrictions so that you can get ECG, blood pressure, as well as sleep apnea on your Galaxy Watch, irrespective of your country. To proceed simply go to the links in the description the first link is the shm app for your phone that should be installed on your phone the second link is the shm app for the watch so i will go ahead and install the shm app on my phone i'll simply go to my folder here and you can see that we have um, the first file here okay i'll select that just once and click on install and this would be installed on my phone. Next, we need to install SHM on the watch. And to do this, we need an app called Bogjoga. Check the link in the description to download the Bogjoga app or simply go to Play Store and search for Bogjoga. So go ahead and open the Bogjoga app. But before that, you need to make sure that both the phone and watch are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So once you have connected both phone and watch to the same Wi-Fi network, we need to enable developer mode. Simply go to the settings app on the watch and scroll down to about watch. Now go to software information and tap on software version multiple times to enable developer mode and go back to the main menu of the settings app you can see that developer mode is now enabled now go to developer options navigate to adb debugging and, and turn it on turn on adb debugging and scroll down to where it says wireless debugging tap on that and turn it on as well All right now with this enabled now with this enable, scroll down to where it says pair new device and tap on it. Now you need to enter these details on the Bojoga app. Now go to the Bojoga app and tap on the plug icon at the top right hand corner. Tap on it and tap on pair. Now enter the IP address and then go ahead and enter the port. Enter the pairing code. Now once you're done with that, tap on pair. Now, this is successful, as you can see, on the Bojoga app. As you can see, our device is now paired to the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the details I have here. Okay. The IP address is the same as we have here. And the port is also the same. So go ahead and tap on connect. And if this is successful, you should see all the apps you have on your watch right on the Bojoga app. Tap on the middle icon with an arrow pointing upwards. As you can see, all the apps I have on the watch is showing up on the Bojoga app. Now, this shows that the connection was successful. All right. Now, to install the app, simply tap on the plus icon on the top of the screen and tap on OK with select app APK file selected. Tap on OK and locate where you have saved the file you downloaded, the SHM app for watch, which is what you downloaded initially. Go ahead and select that and tap on Done. And Bojoga will remotely install SHM app on the watch. Now, this should take a couple of uh, minutes or seconds, depending on the speed of your internet connection. So guys, Bogjoga has successfully remotely installed ACHM app on the watch, as you can see. And the next thing to do right now is to turn off developer mode. You need to turn this off to avoid a serious impact on your battery. Okay, so simply go back to the settings app on the watch and go to developer options. Okay, um, let's go to wireless debug and charge debugging first. Turn this off and then go back to a debugging and turn it off. Okay, and then go back to about watch, go to um, software information and tap on this multiple times to turn off developer mode. So guys, now that you have successfully installed SHM app on the watch and phone, go ahead and open the SHM app on your phone 
and tap on sleep apnea. Tap on it and go ahead and tap on next. Which situation applies to you? Go ahead and choose the appropriate answer. Tap on next to proceed. Go ahead and read through that, okay? And choose the correct answer that applies to you. And then tap on next. Go ahead and tap on next. Go ahead and read through that and tap on next. Read through that and tap on next to proceed. Okay, tap on next and next and next. So it is time to enable sleep apnea feature. Go ahead and toggle this on, okay? And tap on continue to enable sleep apnea measurement on your Galazzo watch. I'll go ahead and tap on turn on. And that is it guys. That is how you can get and enable sleep apnea measurement on your Galazzo watch 7, Galazzo watch ultra, Galazzo watch 6 and Galazzo watch 5. So guys, now that you have enabled sleep apnea to measure sleep apnea to detect sleep apnea you need to wear the watch to sleep and guys that is how you can get and set up sleep apnea on your galaza watch and that is it for this video if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed smash the subscribe button on the next time goodbye